Ever dreamt of crafting oceans that roar and lakes that mirror the sky? Today we're learning about the water system in Unreal Engine 5. In this tutorial, we're diving into the art of digital water. From serene lakes to mighty oceans, we're about to unlock the secrets of crafting water that's not just visually stunning, but alive with movement. Grab your virtual snorkels and gear up for a deep dive into UE5's incredible water systems. Let's make a splash in your digital realm and the world of game design. Welcome back to Ranger Realm Studios. Water, it's essential in the real world and a breathtaking element in the digital realm. Without any further delays, let's get right into it. Unreal Engine 5 introduces an enhanced water system that's intuitive and artist friendly with a focus on realism and interactivity. Crafting rivers, lakes, oceans, and more is a breeze. In order to use the water system, first we must enable it. Let's go to our plugins and search for water. So we go up to edit, plugins, and in the search bar type in water, and enable the water plugin. And I accept that is still experimental. Then search for landmass and enable it as well. Once again, click yes, due to it still being in the beta. Then you're gonna have to restart the engine for the plugins to take effect. So I will see you shortly. Tick tock, tick tock. Now that the plugins are active, the landmass plugin will allow the water plugin to affect the landscape terrain that we already created. So let's start simple. Head to the place actors panel on the left hand side and type in water. This will show all of the now enabled water actors and bodies that you can then include into your map. First, we're going to go ahead and select the water body lake and simply drag and drop it into your level at a location where you would like to place it. And then wait for all of the shaders to load. And there you have your water. And now that the lake is placed, let's go ahead and erase some of our foliage just to make sure that we can actually see what we're doing here. So we're going to go back up to our selection mode, click on foliage. And if you have any questions about foliage, placing it or erasing it, check out our last video. Once we're done with that, go back into the selection mode and find the lake and we can work from here. Now bear in mind, every water body is unique. By selecting the spline points, which are these white dots along the edge of the lake, we can manipulate the shape and size of the lake that we have. There, and as you can see, us placing this body of water is affecting our entire landscape. So what we'll have to do later on to not make it look as ugly is go back into the landscape editor and rework it. But for now, let's focus on the body of water. Once you modify the lake to the way that you want it to be, let's focus on some flow. So adding rivers is just as easy as it was as placing the lake. We're just going to go back to our place actors panel under the water tab and then choose water body river. Simply drag and drop it into your map and then it'll give you those spline points again and then you can go in and already see all right our water is flowing in that direction so i will want our water to, water to come out of the mountain and flow into the river so i'm just going to take everything and rotate it around then take this single spline point and drag it over here to where i want it to start Now we have a river going into our lake. Let's take a look. Play from here. And there we go. Here we have a beautiful river. It's flowing down into the lake. The collision isn't set up yet, so we can actually walk on water at the moment. Once you place your river in the details panel, there's various settings that you can then use to manipulate 
the body of water that you have. Now that we have a river and a lake, if you wanted to, you can now also create an ocean or an island, as well as some custom water shapes if you wanted to, but we're gonna keep it relatively simple in this video. Next, let's go back to our lake, because it is still very calm. Make sure it's selected and scroll down the details panel under wave and look at the wave attenuation water depth. If you increase this number, the water will become smoother. And if you decrease the number, the water will start being more and more violent, creating bigger and bigger waves. Same as the max wave height offset. If you increase it, you will allow the offset to be higher for the waves. But let's keep it at the default values because Little waves is not bad. Actually, no, let's bring the wave attenuation up to 5,000. This lake doesn't have much interference going on. And it'll keep it nice and smooth. Next, let's dive into the materials. So if you don't know where to find it in your content browser, just go into your details panel, type material, and it will show all of your material information in here. If you're still not sure where to find it, Expand this section right here, or make this section smaller, and click the folder with the lens icon, and this will then directly bring you to the file where it's located in the content browser. But I don't want to change anything with it and accidentally mess up my water, so we're going to go ahead and create a material instance, open it up, and then here we can start playing around with the settings. For instance, the foam color, the water color itself, and any other possible settings that the default water comes with. By changing these settings, you can create the perfect mood and style for your water. Make sure to save the changes that we just implemented, which wasn't much. We changed the distant water speed. Let's go and the foam attachment, increase the size a little bit. Foam opacity, let's bring that down just a little bit. Let's actually change the color of our water. This blue, a little darker blue. Go ahead and save. Go back to our map, make sure we switch out the materials. So since this is the material we've been using and all we did was create an instance, it's going to be right underneath of it. Select it and you already see the water color has changed compared to the river that is flowing into the water. So let's go back into the material instance and let's change the color to a little bit more drastic so we can really see what's happening. Let's make it a nice red color. Okay save go back and now we have a red water then we can do the same thing for our or for our river so the river to ocean material we're going to change it to be the exact same let's let's go ahead and find river to lake transition water material river to lake transition all right we're going to right click create material instance open it up and for this one we're simply going to change the color also to that nice intense red save it Go back, change the material to the material instance we just created, and now our lake will start off blue, coming out of the mountain, and flowing over here, and then it will transition to red. And if you don't like it, you can always go back and change it. Just by hitting the back arrow inside of the material, we'll change it back to its original to, to its original value. Go ahead and do that for both materials. So it's back to the lush blue that it wasn't to begin with. Go ahead and hit play. We start in our little area, and then we can walk through our forest, walk up onto our beautiful lake. And that's it. With just a few steps, you've learned the basics of Unreal Engine 5's water systems. From serene lakes to roaring oceans, the possibilities are endless. This tutorial made waves in your game development journey Hit that like button and share it with your fellow creators. Dive deeper into Unreal Engine 5 by subscribing to our channel. Remember, the digital sea of knowledge is vast. Until our next adventure, stay unreal.